Hey guys, Ryan DeShane here from Wired to Fish. And as you can see, we have a table set up for fish cooking. We're about to cook a nice batch of walleye and panfish fillets. And one of the great joys about fishing is eating the fish for a lot of people. And now we practice selective harvest, meaning we let the big fish go and we keep the right size fish and the amount that we're actually gonna eat. One of my favorite recipes works for all fish, basically. And it's a frying method. It may not be the healthiest option available, but I will say that I think it's one of the most delicious. What I have in front of me here, supplies wise, is pretty basic. We have some eggs in a mixing bowl. We have our fish, freshly caught, bone free. We have two different types of batter here. One is our standard dry rub fish batter. Right next to it, we have a penko slash crumb batter. And that's gonna provide the fish a really nice texture and a little bit extra bulk or a crunch. We have a bowl here that will take the battered fillets. And then we have a really convenient fryer here. This one has a built-in thermometer. You can fry a lot of different methods. Stovetop works well, you can do it on the grill. A deep fryer with the propane tank works excellent. I like this one for family use because it's real easy. I can do small batches, but yet this one's big enough where I can cook enough fish to probably feed eight people pretty easily. And it has a built-in thermometer. That's the big deal with getting fish cooked right is maintaining the right temperature for the oil you're cooking with. Now I happen to prefer either peanut oil or coconut oil. Both have a smoking temperature or a burning point of about 450 degrees. What I've found is 350 to 360 degrees with peanut oil or coconut oil is ideal for a fast cook and a really crisp filet. It doesn't allow that filet to absorb a bunch of that oil. First thing I'm gonna do with this fryer here is add the oil and then plug it in. There's a heating element in here, so it needs to be immersed in oil or you can burn it out. You don't necessarily need to put your fillets in an egg wash. You could coat them with olive oil or milk, but the egg makes the fillet stickier so you get a better coating of your batter. Just gonna shift things around a little bit. And as you can see, I prefer the assembly line method. I like to be pretty organized with this. Battering the fillets is the, where the majority of the work lies. So fish, egg wash, batter number one, egg wash, batter number two. We're gonna have them kind of batched up here. And then when this is ready, we'll put them all in. So just grabbing my first fillet. I'm gonna get a good coating of egg wash on it. I do prefer a little bit higher walled bowl here so I can take some of that excess off. The wetter that filet is, the quicker you tend to kind of muddle up your batter here. So I just kind of go like that, cover that filet. And as you can see, this, this is a nice fine grain batter. Look at how beautifully coated that is all the way around. Now after that first coating, I'm just gonna simply lightly dip it back into that egg. Now we're gonna do our second round coating over here to the Penko. And you can do two or three fillets at a time. I'm just kind of showing you the process with one. But look at that. That thing's coated 360 degrees. One of the other benefits of this bulk battering process is it lets these fillets sit a little bit. Kind of lets that egg and then these two batters harden. So when you put it in the oil, it doesn't come off as easily. Again, with the bigger fish, and if I'm not feeding a ton of people, I don't mind doing it more manually by hand but this works great if you got a batch of bluegill or crappie. And as we're waiting for this oil to get to temp, I'm just gonna take our pan that we're gonna put our cooked fish on. I like to line that with a paper towel just to absorb any excess oil. It also helps keep the fish warm. All right, we got green light, oil is to temp. So we're gonna give it about, eh, two to two and a half minutes, I would say, and those fillets are gonna be just a beautiful golden brown. The beauty of that high oil temperature, that 350 to 360 degrees is a fast cook time, and you can see how beautiful those fillets are, just that perfect golden brown. You don't get that if you have that oil temp in the high 200s, and the fish tend to be soggier, so having the right oil is absolutely critical. Spread them out, next batch. The coating kind of acts like an insulation. You'll be surprised how long these fillets stay warm. 
So you can get a decent amount cooked up if you're feeding a bunch of people around a table and you want to actually be seated at the same time. What I look for in a filet is just that, that deep, rich, golden brown. If they're too light in color, they could probably use a little bit longer. That's about perfect. Try this recipe. Sure to be a crowd pleaser.